October 15, 2017, good friend and fellow hunter Mike Nelson shot one of Wisconsin's top archery bucks ever killed. Hear his story unfold during our first ever episode of Paradise Valley Outdoors Monster Buck Conversations. Hit that subscribe button below and we hope you enjoy the story. So today we're here with Mike Nelson. I've known Mike since 1996, I think, when Somewhere I started working. There. Yeah, I started working with you. At, uh, actually, Lunen Schloss Hansen and Mike. Uh, through the years, um, I worked with Mike there, and then what in 2008, I think you started working for me at Badgerland Flooring. Yep. So I've known Mike for a long time. Um, you've hunted a lot of years. A lot of years, yeah. ever since I was 12. Yeah, so how old are you now? I'll be 65 in April. Yeah, so Mike just recently retired, partly retired last year. Partly. He's enjoying that. Um, so as you can see, we got a giant buck here. Um, Mike shot this in what year? Uh, October 15th of 2017. Okay, yeah, and I... Uh, Mike was obviously, like we said, he was working for me or working together at the time. And we, what, you brought the picture of that deer in, like, in, was it mid-August? Yeah, I got it uh, on trail camera the 25th of August. Okay. So that was pretty neat. We were able to, I think you brought it into work and met me at the truck that morning. And Mike kind of threw this picture out and, and says, what do you think that'll score? And I told him, I, I didn't even believe that it was actually a picture you had. I thought you were <laughs> kind of messing with me. So... Um, but yeah, as it goes, it wasn't a joke. He got several more pictures of the buck yep. throughout the fall and then ended up shooting it, what'd you say? October, October 15th. 15th, pretty early. I remember the night I was actually hunting on some lease ground and um, got back to my truck and I seen you called and I obviously I missed the call and I looked at my dad right away and I said, uh, I think Mike, I'll bet Mike hit that big buck. It was kind of neat and then I called you and you had. So. Yep. Um, so the buck grossed 246 and 7 eighths. That's just unbelievable. It's got everything. Mass, stickers, drop tying. Um, so why don't I let you tell us a story of, you know, what do you think you want, how you shot it, when you shot it. Did you see it before you shot it? Did you ever, I don't think you'd ever seen it before. I'd never seen it before it. I shot it. Yeah, so just kind of go through the evening when you, when you shot him. Well, to start start with, I went opening day of bow season, and it was hot, miserable, so I had a good wind that night because I needed a north or northwest wind to hunt, and I never hunted again until October 15th, the night, the night I shot him, because I had a good wind, and I never, there, huh? yep, I stayed out of there because I didn't want to blow him out or do anything to keep him from not coming in. I just sat there i probably got in about three o'clock in the afternoon and just sitting there and i had a doe milling around in front of me for well he was she was there until i shot the buck and he come in about eh, quarter after quarter after five or so by himself by himself <laughs> um he seen the doe down below me but i've got a huge apple tree and that's what he come up and made a scrape under that apple tree and he seen the doe and then he kind of grunted a couple times, lowered his head and ran towards her. Of course, ran and there's no way to draw back and shoot. Yeah. So I just waited and finally he didn't, he got dis didn't really like looking at her. He looked back to my apple tree and there was two more doe back at the apple tree and he just turned around and he just walked back to them and presented me with a shot and and I took it. Of course it took a half hour of watching him and that was nerve wracking in itself. <laughs> I <can> imagine so. <laughs> yeah. 
I, the, the, sh the stand and the tree were shaking pretty good, but you think it was better to watch him that long? Did you kind of get time to actually get excited and calm back down enough to get the arrow in him, or do you think um, it was? I been think better? it'd been better if uh, he did just he walked just, in. If he'd just walked in. Yeah, it's a, everybody's different with that. Yeah, you know? it just it was too nerve wracking. Yeah, I bet. So I made the shot and and he. Didn't really run off when I hit him, but he just took off walking and he got out of sight. And I thought, well, I'm just not even going after him. And I just left him go. And I never seen him go down or hear him go down. So I just went to the truck and come back to town and called uh, my buddy Dale Bender and Doug Dewar and my brother Terry. And we waited until about nine o'clock and went out and we found him right away. He was, he was, dead before I ever got to my pickup. Sure. But it was pretty awesome then. I bet it was. I bet it was. So it's the number one bow kill in Richland County. Right. Um, I don't know if there's anything, you know, with a gun that would even beat it, would there? I mean, we don't know that, but I, no. I can't believe there's much that that uh, would. Um, I'll have to look into that. Not that it matters. I mean, it's just that one will probably stick a, stick for a while, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> it sure will. Yeah. So how much? Okay. So going back to your land, you you own twenty six acres. Twenty four. Twenty four acres. You shot this deer on. Yep. And the year before, you shot a pretty good buck. Shot a hundred and seventy inch sixteen point. Yeah. So obviously you got it. something some good stuff around you and doing food plots. Food plots. Yep. 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 Corn, um, beans. The main draw is my apple tree. Is it? Yep. Does come to that all the time, and that's what brought him up there. Yep. What bow were you using? Uh, Matthew's Outback. When you had bought from us still years yep. ago. Yep. 15 years old. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So a couple questions I just want to ask you, because you've been doing this for a number of years. Um, What's one of the biggest changes you've seen in the last 30 years in the hunting industry that's good, bad? Oh, I think it's all been good. It's We're getting more and more deer. People are letting uh, younger bucks go and they're mm -hmm. growing. To, so people have a chance like this. And the equipment is getting better and better. Yeah. And, you know, so. Yep. Yep. Um, so where do you go from here? <laughs> I just still hunt. Yeah, just go out and enjoy yourself. I just, I mean, yeah. you know you're probably never going to top that. Oh, no, no. You're still, you know, you'll still get a thrill out of shooting a 150. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. That's something um, you always wonder when you kill a deer like that. The next year you could shoot a, you know, um, my dad, for instance, shot a good buck a couple of years before you, and he shot like a, like a 150 buck the next year, and it was almost kind of a letdown, but I mean, the deer was a great buck. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm not gonna come close to that, but you just you just go out and hunt. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I'm retired. This last fall was the best bow hunting I've ever had. I did not shoot anything, but it was just fantastic. I got to sit more and just watch the deer come and go. And not that I didn't have shooter bucks, I did just weren't where I could get at them. Yeah. But I had a lot of fun. That's what it's about. Yep. Fun and family and friends and yep. obviously you had a mix of everything here with this one. So um, kind of a cool picture here. Mike got his buck put on the cover of Rack Magazine, uh, the April May issue of 2018. Um, that's quite a. That's pretty cool. Yep. You know when you brought that in, that was. That's a pretty big accomplishment. But um, <coughs> anything else you can think of? Well, we also were invited to the National Pope and Young Convention. They only take the top five heads out of all the categories in North America, and we, we placed fourth. Did you? And that in was the for in the nation in Canada, Canada wow. parts of Canada. Um, and that, go, that went for a two-year hunt period. Now they've gone to a one. Every, they're going every year now, but that was for the 2017 and 2018 season so it pretty awesome yeah 
Never really knew the buck was there until you got the picture of him in August. Never, shot never knew he was there until August 25th. Hmm. And then I got him two other times, one on a different camera, and I got him on the same camera twice, hmm. which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So I knew he was hanging around. Yeah, yeah, I remember you kept showing me pictures. I think I actually told a guy, I don't remember who I was talking to one time, but I said, oh, you know, I think Mike's got a good shot of killing that buck. He said, it's, you know, first when you've seen it, and we, me and you hadn't seen it the year before right. or knew he was around, you think, well, maybe he's just passing through. And mm -hmm. then he just kind of kept showing up on yep. camera, and I'm going, well, he's going to have a good shot of killing that thing. It's obviously hanging out there. So. Right. Um, and like you said, we did. You, you do food plots. You do a lot of work to your property. Yep. So it just goes to show it's not the quantity, it's the quality of the land and right. taking care of it and hunting it right, obviously. So um, best memory, I go. I suppose that's kind of a goofy question to ask, I'm sure. Yeah, this. it's this one. <laughs> oh, the, one the one I shot in 17 was... That was a nice deer. That was a yeah. nice deer. Yep. That was very nice, so... Yep. How do you uh, feel for the first 10 minutes after you hit him? I mean, what's going through your head in the tree stand? Nervous? <sighs> Very excited. nervous. It, yeah, more nervous than excited. I'm Because the shot placement wasn't as perfect as you want them, but... That happens. And but he nerves, didn't go far. No, he only went probably 80 yards. Sure. So, it was a lethal hit, but... So yeah, you're looking at the number one buck of Richland County. I would assume, you know, I don't want to say this without knowing it for sure, top 10 probably ever shot in the state. Um, yeah, you I would know, say maybe, so. Maybe top six even. Mm -hmm. Top six or five. Yeah, so uh, this is, you know, quite an animal. Like we said, it just got everything. It's got mass, it's got points, it's got drop times, it's um, the hole in the horn kind of cool there. and. Yeah, he was he was 25 scoreable points on him. Mm -hmm. He's got 27, but two of them are a little bit too short. So, so anyhow, we're gonna wrap this up. Um, unless you got something else you can think of, but no, we're gonna start doing some of these. We've got a, about a half dozen people I know from the area that have shot 200 plus inch deer, and some of them are gonna be, um, you know. Just, just good typicals, 180, 170s, you know, boon class bucks. And um, we got another one we're gonna do here later on and uh, it made contact with a few other guys, but I wanted to get Mike's. Um, like I said, I've known Mike since 1995 or 96 and you know, Mike's been a big part of my life. He's helped me with my business. Uh, you know, at a young age, I started working with him and uh, showed me what work ethic's all about. And, I appreciate our friendship, and this is pretty cool. So I was I. really proud to, to be a you know a part of not really a part of it, but I, I knew the story. It was kind of followed it along with you, and that's a pretty awesome accomplishment. Yeah. So. It was. Yep. So with that, we're gonna end this, and we'll uh, catch back up on the next one. So thanks, Mike. Thanks, Jamie.